What? I'm supposed to go to Ohio? I don't give a shit about those people. Do they give me money? No. Let them choke on the chemicals down there. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> well, hello everybody. Back in the garage. As usual. Yes, a son of a bitch keeps tripping the trap. I think I'm going to outsmart him this time because I'm going to put some duct tape on the floor. <laughs> so when I get done doing what I got to do here to this, I'm putting duct tape in. There it is. I'm putting some of this duct tape on the floor. And let his ass get stuck to that. So last time I was out plowing, um, this wheel came loose. So the nut right there came off. So I just had to pull this down and put a bead of weld on the top of that nut. Um, the vibration, I only had it just slightly tacked, but the vibration knocked it off. So, so I'm just gonna loosen it a little bit. I'm just gonna put a blob of weld on it because these are so cheap anyways. You know, I might pull that spring out, tighten it up a little bit, keep this up tight, but I mean, it works works good so yeah I'm actually out of kerosene in my tank back there so I sucked that dry so now I'm using diesel fuel on that one to get some heat in here hi Junior what are you doing with that nut look out you trying to hide that nut what are you doing with that why do you have a nut you playing with it huh he's sitting on like he's trying to hide it Junior just had Wendy's cheeseburger, didn't you? You had a cheeseburger from Wendy's? Yeah. Not a whole cheeseburger. I just give him a little piece here and there. Cause I got to put him on a diet. I got to stop giving him bread. But I'll give him like, you know, like hamburger meat and stuff like that. Protein. But I'm not going to give him. He's done with bread. I got to thin him down. I don't want to kill him with love, you know. I love that little guy. I don't want nothing to happen to him. So I'm going to have to refill all these cans. So there's 20 gallons of gas and five of diesel. Actually, four. I put four gallons in because I don't want to spill it all over the place. But I got four gallons over here. But windy today. Very windy out. And this door here, it's just, it's got a lot of play in it because this, my magical lock, yeah, it, it ripped out. Because I used to catch it back here and would pull the door tighter. But... I'm going to have to make up something a little bit different because I want this door back here. When you let go of it, it goes way out like that. It lets all the air through it. So, yeah, plan B. You know something? I thought I had a plan B. I think I did. I think that's what this was here for. That's right. That is my plan B right there. I forgot about that. All right. Never mind. I couldn't remember why I had that bolt sitting here. And now is to pull the bottom of the door in and hold it. I'm so far ahead of myself sometimes, I just can't believe it. But I've noticed when I'm driving this thing, I'm like steering it all over the place and I've got a lot of play in the steering. I don't know where the hell that's coming from, but I'm gonna look into that too. Cause I look like a drunk guy going down the freaking road. So there's got to be some type of a hydraulic gearbox or something in there. I'll have to take a look at it when I get a minute and see what the hell is all that play coming from. But, yep, I got to get some double sticky tape for this. I can turn my lights on and off. Keep it way the hell out of my way because no matter where I put it, it's in the freaking way. All right, I'm going to weld this on and see what else I got to fix. I saw a weld little weld broke loose here a little snap off right here so I'll bend that up and fix that my Toro stickers oh my god just falling hey how's it going the fuzzy's coming back um yeah my little cob weld broke here my Toro stickers getting shredded but that's all right my um my tires are coming today so the tires are coming in today for the rims, for these, and I called the shop, 
And I said, how much to balance the tires? He said, 20 a piece. I'm like, thinking to myself, are you effing kidding me? $20 a piece? While I'm taking them off and bringing them into you and everything? I thought that was a little bit high. And I said, now you spin balance. I go, this is for a Hayabusa, so this is gonna see some high speeds. And he said, yeah, he goes, I balance tires for racing motorcycles. I'm like, all right, I wanna balance 200 miles an hour, so. Well, hey, whoa, 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 what'd you find? Stop, what'd you find? What is that? Hey, you trying to sneak out of here with that? Do you think that's yours? Get it, you can have it. Get it, you want it? Okay, okay, get it. Just gotta think about it, should I or shouldn't I? Now, now if I gotta call it a toy, get your toy. See, you gotta call it a toy. It's the styrofoam I've been cutting off the wall over here. When I was out here earlier, I was just trimming up the styrofoam that I filled in the gap. I can still feel wind blowing in from somewhere. It's probably my mouth. Anyways, that's what I'm up to. You're not going to like the taste of that. So, a little bit of weldy weld, and that's it for now. I'm just killing time. So... I had to run down to the bank and dump some more money in because I forgot about a bill. Yeah, whatever. Shit happens. But I'm trying to think of a way. There really is no way for me to run a brace from here up down to this corner to keep these la these wings from bending because they are bending from here over. Well, I just have to deal with it. I don't care. I was like to find some magical way to get something because here's the main brace beam. And I know this bar moves. If I can get weld one from here down to the bottom corner across this one at an angle, that could possibly help. What do you think? Huh? What do you think, buddy? Are you going to help? You can't be in here when I weld. No, you can't be watching me weld. You hurt your little puppy dog eyes. How come, you, how come your tail wags crooked? You're the only dog that tails wags freaking crooked. Are you happy, boy? Look at a crooked ass tail. It's like this. How come your tail's crooked? What happened to your little butt? Where's your waggy butt? There it is. He's funny. Yeah, I still got water dripping in through the back here, so. Damn it, that's what I forgot to do. I was gonna run up to town and get some tar. And I was gonna tar this. It's still dripping, so I'll wait till the roof dries off before I go up there again so I don't end up cutting my freaking head off next time. All right, got a case of this came in again, this delicious shit. Man, I tell you, I love this stuff. All right, I gotta get back welding. Well, I'm kind of getting a little carried away here. Um, so I don't have much going on. But I welded this back on. That's good. I started messing around with the ram. And I found these collars that'll actually let this ram slide up and down. So, what those are, are roller fair leads. Spacers. They fit perfect. And um, for now, the piston's just dry, going back and forth dry. So I was just testing it like this to make sure that's hit already on past that point. And the ram's got plenty of room. I can bring it back all the way back this way. And usually it stops there, but I might be able to get a little extra. So, so the ram is gonna work perfectly. So, there is that. Now, all I have to do is figure out the piping on this end, because this is already basically done here. So, these pipes are just gonna lay down like that and zip tie them together and, and whatever, but I would just have to jump up the line from this up into the pump and then have a feed and return line and that's it. 
so I'm gonna be taking the hoses off for now but I'm leaving this on just for the hell of it and I'll have to uh, put some tape or something over these ports so I don't get no dirty in them if I had a short piece of hose I just put a hose on it and just connect them together you know because they're basically just pushing air back and forth between them so it wouldn't hurt anything probably just do that with this short one just connect them together for now that way it'll it'll keep the shit out of them and uh, it won't matter any with the with the cylinder let's see will this work should be fine for now until I get ready if I can screw it on straight Yeah, see that won't matter any. So that's what I'll do. I'll just leave a tube on here hooking these together for now. And I'll put this back up on the bench. We'll save it for later. But at least I know I've got that mounted. The ram is mounted perfectly the way I want it. And I can still turn everything back and forth, pull the pin, blah blah blah. So I'm gonna grease up my little joints there. So Hey, little by little, we're getting there. All right, now you can play the Mission Impossible theme. Let's see him walk on that now and get out. I've had enough of this little bastard. There, now he looks like he's got a floor. He can walk in about a half an inch before he gets stuck. Now watch, I'll come back and the whole freaking trap will be gone. I'll be like, what the hell? Well, I guess that's it for the moment. Um, all I did was just loop these pipes together just to keep the dirt and shit out of them. That's all. I don't want nothing to get sucked in, you know, because you're plowing through all kinds of shit. And this just pushes back and forth against it. I got them all greased up, so they got grease in them. And uh, that's it. Uh, the new tires I got coming are going to a tiny bit wider. I got a freaking pain in my, just underneath my rib cage on the right now. I probably got food poisoning from freaking Wendy's. Uh, let's see. Ooh, it's windy out. Yeah, no UPS yet, so no, it means no tires yet. Look at the door. Boom. A little windy out there. Well, I guess that's it for now. I might as well, uh, kill the heat and head back in for a while what a difference I'm running number two or kerosene or diesel I'm running diesel fuel in that thing so I got this running there there's obviously a difference when you run diesel fuel compared to kerosene kerosene I didn't really smell anything diesel fuel you do you almost get the eye, eyes burning type feeling. So, yeah, I will not be running diesel in that again. That was a boo-boo. But, yeah, I can smell it in here now. But it's stinky. We'll turn on the big boy for a little bit. Get some of them fumes out of here. So, I'm going to park this for now and... You know, it's nice about this that the mower deck is not on here. These tires are really easy to get off because the mower deck wheels come back in this area. And it's a bitch to get these tires off. But it's got to be nice seeing like nice brand new tires on the front of this. So, yeah, this one ain't going nowhere. I'll be hanging on to this one for quite a while. All right. I guess that's it for the day. And, uh... Off we go. I'll catch you later. Well, there they are. They are all mounted up. And I am one step closer to getting this thing rolling around on its own. So, I'm going to take these down now and uh, tomorrow I'll take them down and get them, get them balanced. One thing you got to pay attention to is when you do these tires is... They have an arrow on them right there. The arrow has to be facing the, the way the tire is rotating. 
which is perfect. I got that one lined up. So the arrow is facing rotation this way. And this is right where the arrow is. Where did it go, that bastard? Where did my arrow go? There's an arrow. On the, okay, here it is. Here's the arrow on the tire facing down. So the arrow's facing this way, down to rotate that way. Now, the one on the back tire has no arrows on it. And you say, why doesn't this have any arrows on the back tire? Because if you're that stupid, then you shouldn't be doing this. Um, the tread pattern tells you which way this tire is going to rotate. And the chain drive tells you which way this tire is going to rotate. And I fucked up. Son of a bitch. Did I fuck up? I fucked up. I fucked up. I put the tire on backwards. Oh, boy. Yep, I put it on backwards. Because the fucking thing goes... The rim goes this way. And I put it on backwards. Well, it looks like they're going to flip a tire around for me because I'm not doing it. Because it was too hard to getting it on. So... You know, I pictured in my head the sprocket. I must have, I must have flipped the tire around backwards, not thinking. Oh well, shit happens, and I'm not afraid to show you if I screw up. So I had it on the floor. That's where I screwed up. Is I had it on the floor, and I was spraying the lube on it. I was using my clay luber because it's really slippery, and uh, well. I must have flipped the tire one too many times. I'll have to put a note. They're going to charge me a little more, I guess. So I got this one right. The big one's a bitch to get on. That big white tire doesn't want to collapse down very good. So, Well, that's all right. That's okay. I screwed up. My fault. I'll pay for it. So I'll have to tell them in my haste, I put the tire on backwards. What a dick. What a freaking dumbass. I'll say it for you. You ain't got to say it. I'll say it. What a freaking dumbass. Not thinking. Just one moment of not thinking. Cost me money. That's fine. Did it to myself. I don't want them rims banging together. I got to put something in between them. So, I could have let that part out. And I could have said, hey, look, the rims are all done. Got to get them balanced tomorrow. See you later. Have a good one. No, you know, I share the good and bad with you. If I screw up, I screwed up. I'm only human. So, yeah, I must be flipping them back and forth a few times and have my head stuck up my bunghole. I just lost track. Whew, I need some padding. Oh, there's one. There's some padding right there. Put them in, put this in between the rims. And I'll say, okay, balance this one. Turn this tire around and balance this one. <laughs> well, anybody, well, anybody, well, everybody. I can't even talk straight anymore. I'm freaking tired. Goofing around all day today. So, it is what it is. That's okay. They would have caught it down there anyways, I'm sure of that. But, oh well, good thing I got extra money on me. Can't believe I did that. Huh, that shit happens. And what's nice is, you catch it now before I put it on the bike. Because when I put it on the bike, I'll be like, oh shit. At least I'm catching it now when I go to take them down to have them bounce. So, it's not that big of a deal. It's probably going to cost me an extra 15 bucks to flip it around, but whatever. All right. Well, that's the end of my goofed up, screwed up day. And uh, have a good one.